Here at the Labor Coalition, we believe Australia is in serious trouble and nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to call it for what it is and nobody seems willing to defend what's about to happen to us and to our children's future in this country. Now currently both sides of Parliament is inhabited by some pretty bland number jugglers. But where are our big thinkers? Where's the visionaries we need to carry Australia into the future? On one side we have the LNP using fear via terrorists and boats and very little else all while claiming that because they have doubled the deficit, sacked tens of thousands and let major industries collapse and die, that they're doing a great job. And on the other side, there's the ALP, constantly skirting the fights, staying central and trying to appear the more appealing of two pretty bland options, to be honest. Now, we've got a great many challenges in this country, but none are more urgent than making the government work for the people and before the interest of any other country who's waving cash bribes around. We have to sell our own innovation and our own products. If these nations want to buy goods from Australia, fine. Here's our price and here's the industries which we are going to create to make those sales happen. If you want to trade here, fine. Here's the tax rate, a real tax rate. And it's payable at the point of sale here in Australia. Not via some overseas bank, where we already know they've skimmed tens of billions from our economy tax-free. Australian families and Australia's future has to come first ahead of foreign developers' bank accounts and their shareholders' profits. And we also need to reduce our reliance on imports. We cannot compete with Bangladesh, Taiwan, China or India, most of whom pay such low wages we would need to work basically for free to be competitive. Now, repeated governments have left, up, left us vulnerable because of free trade deals. And we are going to have the guts ripped from this nation with the next lot unless we stop it. Now, for decades, we've been told we cannot compete with poor nations. And for some reason, the solution now on offer is another trade deal that's going to remove the last of any protections which we had, which were import tariffs. Now, we need tariff protections, which these trade deals plan on removing altogether. There's going to be a reduction over three years and in five they want them gone. And if you think we've had trouble competing with imports now, you wait until there's no tariff restrictions and let's see how fast hundreds of small businesses close when places like China and the US get to corner our markets. And with 800,000 unemployed it absolutely baffles us why both sides of government are still supporting 457 workers coming here and taking jobs that we badly need. Now, we, we need to place a freeze on future issue of 457s, but there's agencies running sponsorship ads overseas seeking tradesmen and other workers, and there's no plan being announced by anyone to even deal with it, much less put a stop to it. And if the ALP is so against the China free trade deal, where's Bill Shorten's public condemning of it? Where's Shorten's public vow to have this deal blocked and struck down so that Australian industries, workers and their families are protected? It's nowhere, because the ALP, just like the LNP, appear to have been bought and paid for by Chinese developers looking to get the advantage. Now, if you don't believe us, then see the video link we have placed below on political donations to both parties from Chinese developers, because it really does scream side deals and dodgy negotiations. So far, all we hear is a dying coal industry will create jobs. Yeah, 10,000 of them. That's if you can believe the figures, and frankly you can't because they're false. And it's been stated repeatedly, they're false. And what about the other 790,000 jobless Australians? What are the major parties' grand plan to get them into work apart from sell off the country? We need to be building and creating and selling what we create. We're not, not taking a one-off payment for a patent and then buying our own inventions back. And with the demands for beef, why aren't we supporting our farmers until the markets begin paying off? Instead of permitting bank foreclosures and then the selling of Australian cattle stations and farms to foreign investors, whose primary focus is feeding a billion Chinese, not us. That long-awaited windfall should go to those who have literally spent generations struggling and praying that such an opportunity would come. As such an industry boost to Australia, it should be guarded and protected and made to flourish, not sold off to some Chinese buyer who's got a plan to block us out of the entire process. 
Now it's been a major failing in Australia having stunted views in government that don't support homegrown opportunities, innovation and development in order to best serve Australia. And because of that, here we stand once again fighting to stop the major parties from selling the place off. We want Australia to grow, to succeed, but that can only be done by backing Australian workers, creating new Australian industries, large scale projects and supporting Australian innovation first and foremost. You don't get it selling off our soil, letting industries fail and watching our profits vanish overseas. Now that's what we want, that's what we stand for and that's what we are fighting for. Now if you agree with that ideology, take a step towards change, don't do what you always do. Make a new decision, click the link at the end of this video, join the Labor Coalition and support us in fighting for what's right and what's fair. Thank you.